So we've been using DALI BMSs for about a year now, and I like them, they do work well. But something I've complained about is that they do not have a low temperature charging protection for lithium iron phosphate cells. And if you try to charge a lithium iron phosphate cell like any of these, when it's below zero degrees Celsius, it will permanently damage it forever and you will lose thousands and thousands of dollars. And I have actually bought six of these with my own money and I'm not affiliated or sponsored by DALI BMS at all. But recently, one of my viewers said that the DALI BMS has low temperature charging protection, so I tested it. First, we're testing a separate port BMS from DALI, and it does not have low temperature protection. Now we have a 24 volt BMS, and we're gonna connect it while it's frozen, and it does not have low temperature disconnect. Absolutely not. And there is literally ice on here, so it should be able to cut itself off. That sucks. So this one does not have low temperature protection. It's an older model and I bought this about a year ago. It does not have the protection. But I actually emailed them a couple days ago and they told me that the new common port lithium iron phosphate 100 amp BMS has low temperature protection and it's on the data sheet. They actually sent me a picture stating that it is. But when you look at the ad on AliExpress, it says that it is not available under the temperature protection on the data sheet that they show. So I'm not sure what data sheet they're looking at, but they are telling me that the newer one actually has low temperature disconnect. So now I have to wait a couple more weeks for me to get the new one to test it. But I want you guys to know how confusing it is for me and what I'm trying to do. And I've tested all of these and none of them have low temperature protection. And just because I got an email from this company telling me that I have low temperature disconnect does not mean that I should trust them. And you should not trust any of these companies until you actually test out their products in a real world test. These were at practically zero degrees Fahrenheit and there was no low temperature charging protection. So I don't want somebody burning out $3,000 worth of batteries because they saw something online stating that it would work. Because in my test, it didn't. And I even tested the 24 volt one, the 12 volt ones. The one I didn't test is the lithium titanate, but this one doesn't need it. Lithium titanate doesn't have that problem. It can charge at a very, very low temperature. And just because a BMS states that it has low temperature charging protection, I would still add a low temperature cutoff with the solar charge controller. And some people might argue with me and say, Will, why don't you spend more money and get an Orion or a Batrium? I do not want to spend $600 to $1,000 for something that you can build with $50 worth of parts. I just think that those systems are overpriced personally and there's nothing that special on them. They are good and if you have like a ten dollars or $20,000 battery, then sure, buy a Batrium. But for people that are trying to make a cheap battery for 300 bucks or even a thousand or two thousand dollars, I don't want to spend 600 bucks on a BMS. That's crazy. This circuit board is so simple. Like these devices should not cost that much money and they are getting cheaper. Anyways, the DALI BMS does not have low temperature protection until we find one that does and I'm not going to listen to the company. I'm going to order the new one, we're gonna test it by freezing it, and if it does have low temperature protection, I'm gonna let you guys know. But I want people to understand this as a lesson that even though a company says something, it doesn't mean that they are right. A lot of these distributors and suppliers for solar equipment from China they just do not understand how the products work. You will ask the same question over and over and you'll get five different answers. And that's very dangerous when you're messing with, you know, thousands of dollars worth of batteries. And thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.